Welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect tea latte. Um, and you're wondering tea latte? Yeah, uh, like matcha lattes, hojicha. If you want to make one as good as you find at any of your coffee shops, you're going to need my new favorite gadget, the frother. So let's go make some tea. Okay, so here is, this is the frother I just got. This is, brand is called a Sakura is the brand. And you know, and it used to be these frothers, the only one I knew that existed was um, Nespresso and it was like $100. And that just seemed a lot of money to spend on uh, foam. And um, when I learned how they make these uh, lattes at uh, Starbucks and Blue Bottle, I th was looking into frother and this is only $40. So I think this does the same kind of thing, and um, we'll talk about it. And there's marks on here if you want to. So here's the inside, and there's a little um, whip at the bottom. And it's so easy to do in the morning. It takes two seconds, practically. So I use oat milk, and um, we'll just do this right now. And I'm going to fill it up to the line of um, for the frothing, because we're going to add a tremendous amount of volume to this. So... Um, And then I use um, sweeten with stevia, and I just put in one little, one little spoon of these little things in here to flavor. And then this is my, um, this is I put the uh, hoji cha. That's a, um, that's a roasted tea, green tea, like uh, like uh, matcha. It's it's just roasted. It turns brown, and that. You can use however you, uh, however much you want. I'm just putting in a half a teaspoon of the powder, and I find it just makes a really nice little tea flavored um, latte. And the simplest thing is, so this is a four-way. This is the uh, four-in-one automatic milk frother, and so the four options that you have is um, hot milk with dense foam, hot milk with airy foam, cold milk foam, and just hot milk. And I'm gonna just push this once. And you can see it's spinning. Here, let me get you. You can see. And so it heats up and it, um, it has a timer, so it'll go off automatically in about a minute and a half, I guess, and you'll see that it will fill up. So now I use um, the oat milk, and that has two grams of fat per serving, and the booklet says that um, this works best with uh, products that have five grams of fat or more per serving, which would be like, you know, dairy and um, soy milk, but this seems to work fine with oat milk, um, I don't know if it works with coconut milk or almond milk. I haven't tried it, but let's see. So we can take this, oh. I did something, I was trying to take the top off, but I, I created some havoc there and it stopped. So what was I saying, the kinds of milk that you uh, use for the best results. I don't know if almond and coconut milk work, but the oat does. And maybe that's why you get oat lattes at all your favorite coffee and tea places. They use that. So that was what the, um, you know, on this journey of making the perfect cup of tea. Oh, it's done. Okay. Here we go. Let's take the top off. So you see, there is this absolutely delicious cup of tea here. So there's liquid and foam, lots of foam, and it's just like you get it at Starbucks or what's a place, Blue Bottom. And um, I suggest rinsing it out right away because this is not, uh, you can't put it in the dishwasher. 
and you can't soak it in water. So you really want to get off any residue so that you don't have to scrub it. And that's, uh, and that's it. We just uh, start drinking our coffee. Mm. I mean tea. It's just so good. And it's just the perfect, it's foamy and it's, it has, I love that roasted flavor. Uh, so you may want to get your own frother. It takes five minutes. You saw how fast that was. Can you imagine making your delicious frothy tea that easy in the morning? Well, enjoy.